topic, so I'm going to wait for some of y'all to come on in. I'm just about to make my morning coffee and all that. Because uh, I was noticing a trend. And that's really what got me sort of like, what the fuck is going on? Because, sorry, I know that's loud. Because I'm noticing a trend. And I don't know if anyone else pick, really picked up on it yet. It's really new. Um, hold on a sec. So this is a really new trend, um, and I'm not sure that anybody really picked up on it yet. And it's sort of like throwing me off, because I'm kind of like, this is really weird, and what does this mean? And typically I'll form an idea fully and do some research before, what's up Wells, before I even comment on anything like this but i think that you know building with you guys putting the video out there just putting this idea out there is something that we could all kind of work together you know what i mean sorry i'm making coffee um trying to work together yeah this is crazy and and uh i think it's something that we could all build on and um something we could all kind of come together around so i noticed this trend first you have american gods the most dopest gods in american gods are all brothers and sisters right then um damn there was some other shit i was thinking about too but american gods were so oh then then you got fucking uh what's that movie that just then you got us that just came out right so us that just came out what was the brothers and sisters in there? Even though, you know, they had that whole doppelganger thing, which was another layer on top of American Gods. And then you got that as another layer. So I'm looking at that and I'm kind of like, what was brothers and sisters calling themselves? Brothers and sisters never called themselves Americans. Like, <clears throat> and they're sort of like two ways. So I'm just kind of like, Americans? Why would they say we are Americans? I'm like, okay. So even though that movie had a lot of symbolism, Wells, that's a good point you're, you're bringing up. But another thing I wanna bring up, um, I'm gonna just let y'all know what he said. He said, our ethnicity is African. Our culture we study is Americans. Now, a lot of the, the trick bag is that a lot of so-called, like most of y'all were never slaves. Or not in the way that they're telling you. What ended up happening was a lot of these so-called slaves were already here. So the whole thing is that there were some people that were brought over, but it was all through um, North and South America, right? And then other people, and then other folks were, uh, oh shit, I already put a filter in. And then other, and then other folks, so most of y'all, this is your, literally your land, but it was never called America. Now, if y'all watch that dude, I always forget his fucking name, Dwayne, Dwayne, whatever his name is. Anyway, he always says that this, this land used to be called Turtle Island. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting because it actually has a different name. But anyway, getting back to the main topic, I'm noticing this trend where... And then you have the whole thing with ADOS and, and uh, black folks asking for reparations. And I don't have an issue with that. The, the problem is, is that if you sell yourself for bread, who is, who, like, you just cleared, off of money, you just cleared all justification for any abuse you've been dealing with. The real slavery was the mental slavery, honestly. <clears throat> Because anybody could come up out of anything and decide that it, you change your mind, you change your whole reality. That's just the, the way things work out here in the world. But, but the whole thing, see, I'm so fucking unfocused this morning because my mind's everywhere. I'm looking at everything and I'm like, oh, this shit is fucking crazy. Um, 
So the whole thing is, is I'm like, why are they trying to put on black folks who ain't never really wanted nothing to do with traditional American, this traditional American system? Why are they trying to put on black folks like, like you're supposed to be proud or, or this fucking nation abused you? Like, you're supposed to be proud that you're fucking American. Fuck out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make no sense to me. And so, well, Jody, I got different folks on my page, so they might be ready for it for real. And they be going way deeper than this. This is child's play for us. Um, so as I'm looking at things around me and I'm sort of seeing how these puzzle pieces are coming together, I'm fucking amazed right now. I'm like, are they subliminally? Because, you know, you have the whole 400 years is up, you know, this is supposed to be a jubilee year. People are rising up or whatever. So you have that whole concept. And I feel that. You know what I'm loving? The energy. I'm loving it. But at the same time, it almost seems like trying to put this concept of you're an American and integrating people mentally back into society is a way of keeping you docile. And I'm really not fucking with that. <clears throat> Yeah, Desmond, you got the you got that point, but I'm saying that I'm saying peace, peace. Um I'm saying that there there's a mental game going on that a lot of people are not catching. You're being drawn into and then you even had Black Panther come out and everybody was tweaking off that, right? But Killmonger, who represents you black man in America, he represents you, ends up being the fucking villain. So it's a split consciousness. It's a split consciousness. It's where one consciousness is that you're the villain, but you're the villain that makes sense, sort of. Like, it makes sense that you um, that you want to be the villain because shit is fucked up. And then at the same time, you're being told, oh, I'm American. They take, they take black people and they're, and they're pushing this narrative on you that now you can be accepted as an American, but at the same time. So all this is... All this is, it seems like, is an elaborate dance to split your consciousness so that people can continue to abuse you and use you and make money off of you while, while telling you subliminal, subliminally that you're included. You know what I'm saying? You're included. You're American. But even the movies that they got that shit come, American God is dope. But the dopest gods in there are the black gods, right or wrong. Right or wrong. And I ain't even, I, 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 people in my group's just been dropping the damn, I, I gotta go watch whole seasons of that. People in my group's just been dropping the damn, um, clips and stuff, and I've been tweaking off those. So I'm like, hmm, very interesting how the, the mental game that's being played with, you got us, right? You got us that came out. We are Americans, and it's super fucking creepy. And then you got, and then you got uh, American gods. Then you got, and and I'm. Then you got people asking for reparations, but they're not thinking it through, and not thinking about the ramifications of that. Because that's like a get out of jail free card. You know, it would be hilarious if niggas went and took reparations. Take your, <laughs> took reparations. <laughs> And then went and then went and said, fuck you. That shit still wasn't enough. See, that would be some gangster shit. I would respect that. Fuck these reparations. Or instead of, or took the damn reparations and then it said, we're gonna need the whole government system, everything too. But we have to be mentally prepared and ready to take on a responsibility like that. So we have to start, everybody has to start in their own lives, coming to a space where they're um they're learning how to, how to how to be powerful in their own self and control their own self. And I would like that. Y'all go ahead and take them reparations and it'd be like it still wasn't enough. <clears throat> so Douglas said, Martin Luther King said in one of his speeches, we were trying to reclaim our land. 
he was already here. That's true. And even though Martin Luther King was an agent, um, he did make some good points. I feel like at some point, he started feeling bad for what he was doing, and he started like dropping little hints and stuff. Because it seems like with, um, with Martin Luther King, I think everybody or a lot of people know by now that he was an agent, but I think that his whole thing is that he started feeling bad and he started like dropping hints and whatnot. But um, <clears throat> y'all gotta open your eyes and look at the world around you because what's going on is crazy right now. Like this, um, this split consciousness and it's almost like symbolically, go ahead, Carolyn. It's almost like, um, Sim symbolically they're integrating you into the American mind society while still killing you off while still denying you <clears throat> good morning Joseph while still denying you your um, land you know what I'm saying um, and, our, and our whole thing is our fight is not going to be won on the physical plane you guys have a much harder fight. It's going to be one on uh, on the spiritual plane. That's where the battle will be won. And it's going to be you mastering your own energy. Because you got to understand that these crackers is just a manifestation of you being out of balance. So that's a whole nother ball game. We ain't even going to get into that today. That's, that's a conversation for another day. But um, you know what I'm saying? You get back in balance... Maybe they will just won't be here. And y'all already know that's been happening. Like, uh, and just to make myself very clear, um, you get to a point, you get to a point that it doesn't really matter what color somebody is. When you start to resonate on a soul level, you know who your family is. So, and I, when I walk around and stuff, I could see light literally some of them little little white boys, they're evolving compared to uh, their parents. They don't have the same mentality. But I literally see some of these little white boys, the ones that be with the book bag and a hoodie and be looking all depressed and shit. They be like, oh, that might be brothers because honestly, I'll see light shooting out the top of their head. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? I ain't never seen this shit before. I be sitting here like, hmm, interesting. And that's what it is, is having non-judgment, but still being aware um, that you're when, you gotta be aware when you're being played and when you're being used, okay? You're being played and you're being used and you're being used for a particular agenda. And uh, is to split your consciousness. So you're like, oh, things in the media are accepting us. Things in the media are accepting our culture. You know, we're being called Americans in all these movies. Um, but then at the same time, you're still getting killed in the street. You're still being harassed. You're still dealing with all these real life situations. So you gotta understand when you're being played. You're symbolically being given a um, victory or acceptance because they're assuming that that's what people want. You should not want any acceptance but your own, period. Accept yourself. Don't wait on this system to accept you, accept yourself. And get out and there's so many other ways to make money now you don't gotta work that job baby you ain't gotta be at that corporation baby fuck them i was supposed to do a job today you know what a bitch did i slept that's what i did i worked for myself but i was gonna do this little catering thing i was like oh, i'm gonna do this little catering thing make a little money off that and i was supposed to meet up in brooklyn go to pennsylvania for you know what a bitch did i slept and these white folks is hitting me up and they're like uh you embarrassed me. Ah, ah, ah. I'm like, guess what, bitch? I don't give a fuck because I don't depend on you motherfuckers for money. This was just some side hustle extra shit. But then when I realized how funny style it was with the bread, because that is not my only source of income, you know what I did, bitch? I slept. I stayed in my motherfucking bed. And because they were so such assholes with the way that they was playing with my bread, I didn't even tell them. I didn't even tell them I wasn't showing up. Bitch just slept. I had 16 missed calls when I woke up and I was looking at my phone and a bitch was laughing. I thought it was so funny. Um, Cause these people don't feed me. You know who feeds me? My clients. And you know why do my clients feed me? Because I feed them spiritually. 
because they become my brothers and my sisters, okay? This is a whole different ball game over here uh, from what I'm trying to build out here. Um, but I've been going off on rants. I might start doing these more because I'm telling y'all, when I be talking to my peoples on the phone and shit, I've been going off on all these fucking rants lately. They're entertaining though, but, but and knowledgeable. But I'm like, damn, what's up with all these rants? <laughs> I got rant on top of rant on top of rant. Um, but yeah, this is some interesting shit. So you go ahead and work on your, cause spiritually you protect yourself. That's the, that's the thing too. You're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh shit. Ah, oh, Shango, ah, oh, my ancestors, bitch. The whole time it's just you protecting you the whole time. Ain't nobody protecting you, but you. And, um. And it's really funny to me because the thing that gets people fucked up with that mentality is that you have a duality concept. So what it is, is that these deities do exist outside of you, but they also exist inside of you. It's kind of like, all right, think of it as if you're a mother and all the moments of your life from when you're pregnant with your child to when they're out of your womb are happening at once. Let's say up until the, the child is, you could just do the whole motherfucker's life. Fine, whatever you wanna do, right? So if you're a mother and that baby is existing inside of you, it's a part of you when it's existing inside of you. But as the baby comes outside of you, they go further and further away from you and they grow. Now imagine, right, like that, that all those moments are exist, existing at the same time. That's the same thing with the concepts that we have of the different gods and the concepts that we have about our ancestors. Everything's existing at the same time. So the whole thing is that yes, they are inside of you, but they are outside of you also. And a lot of the deities we work with are ancient and they've been giving so much energy over time that, um, what ends up happening with these deities is that you're able to, how do I say this? You're a, they're, they actually exist, that's how I can say it. They actually exist just in another dimension. And you know what? I started recognizing that the different dimensions actually exist within your mind. So every time you think you went to the astral realm or you think you went here in the spirit world, or you just went up and cut through all that bullshit and just hit the source, it's actually you exploring your own divine mind. Mmm, right? Mmm, dropping the heat today, motherfucking game. But yeah, that's what I'm starting to recognize. And it's just being in different states of consciousness. And you sort of, you sort of will have a gateway into certain areas of your own mind. So that's where the Anubis figure really comes in. That's that's also some. See, I'm getting off on little little side chats now. Um, but yeah, stay woke in the real sense, not in this fake sense. Stay hey, fuck, stay woke, stay aware. Okay, you y'all go ahead and stay aware, and notice how they're trying to play you out here, because it really. Maybe um, what might help is if everybody starts studying a little bit of psychology. Um, and you start understanding how the mind's consciousness can split due to trauma and things of this nature. So it's like a mass uh, experiment. It's like a mass experiment where you're actually splitting a bunch of people's consciousness at the same time. So you, these motherfuckers are out here literally making people crazy every day. Now, that's, that's what happens when you're so invested in this society. Be invested in yourself. Be invested in your spiritual growth. Don't be invested in this society because whatever's happening outside of you is always subject to change. So you just gotta be like a fish in water because that's what you're really doing down here. Anyway, I was in Manhattan on Sunday and peep this shit, right? Now, I like that I live in Long Island because it's not too, too many people. So I don't get overwhelmed because uh, when you're an empath, you can get overwhelmed. So check this hot shit. I'm walking through Manhattan 
and I li there's I can you know what I'm saying you start to boom 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 my, my fucking senses are like overload I'm just like oh oh that's oh that's interesting oh oh you hitting all these different people different colors in their auras different uh, thought forms different patterns but all at one time it literally feels like you're swimming it feels like you're swimming in a very full ocean that's what it feels like but so now you have all this different chaotic energy very feminine swimming and I see this is this is what they did in Manhattan that's smart because the way that they put the buildings and the way that they have everything with um, the Wi-Fi and all that stuff hooked up they have a grid so the grid is not only for electricity um, the grid is to collect all that energy all those thought forms and patterns see that's some old hot shit right there that's some hot occult shit right there that's some dope shit i was peeping game i'm like damn that's why this city has so much power because they done made these grids to keep whatever it is good bad the ugly um but you keep the energy in the city you lock it in with the box that's why all the blocks and everything in that way and that's why everything's very particular um, so I found that very interesting on oh, just on a, another random fucking side note, but as you go, so since things are outside of you are subject to change, work on inside of you because then who gives a fuck what changes outside of you? You're always going to pull in the experiences that you want to have and the lifestyle you want to have. And also too, as you heal your own mind, you start healing the collective consciousness. So motherfuckers can stop acting crazy about here. Because motherfuckers is acting real crazy now. So heal your own trauma. Talk to your child self. You know, hit me up for a consultation. Or maybe an intuitive reading. It's very healing. I'm just saying. Um, so that's really what's going to make the difference. And also just please go. Everything you talked about today for real. Um, just stay aware. Just stay aware, no, 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 know when you're being played psychologically. You know what I'm saying? And as you know yourself, you start to pick up the little trends and stuff. So uh, y'all have a beautiful morning. I know I will. Bye.